you're a fisherman that cuts a lot of bait, then this cutting board is for you. With its deep surrounding basin, the cut bait stays in the tray, not on the deck. This cutting tray is designed to fit securely over a bucket or on a flat surface. Not only great on the boat, but in the kitchen as well. Hi, this is Captain Al Lorenzetti for SkimmerOutdoors.com. You know, after a long, hard fishing season, my plugs really need some attention. After fishing plugs for a whole season, they get pretty beat up. And uh, this is my go-to plugs. It's a Gibbs Danny plug in yellow, one of my favorites, so they get a lot of use. Uh, but at the end of the season, or if I use them a lot, even during the season sometimes, you have to kind of spruce the plug up, have to do basic maintenance to it. They cost about $25 a piece. I have some plugs that cost $45 a piece, so you're not going to throw away a valuable plug, so you're going to want to maintain it and fix it up, basically. So what I do is it's a combination of if the plug body is really, really beat, you can see this one. From the movement of the hooks, working through the water, running back and forth, it's actually eaten a groove into the plug, it's taken off the paint, and it's kind of created a pattern in the plug that to me doesn't look good, and probably not to a fish. And also the hooks have gotten a little bit rusty, uh, the tail hook is rusty, and it basically needs maintenance. It needs to be, you know, freshened up. So what I do is I use a number of products. I go out and I buy, of course, some fast drying uh, lacquer paints. Actually, it's an enamel. In the colors that I want, for these plugs for the Dannys, I use a little red spray, white for the belly, yellow for the top. So I have the red, yellow, and white paints. And then also I have a clear coat, which I'm going to use to get the sparkle to be attached to the plug uh, after I've done the base paint. Uh, another thing you need to do the work to spruce up, as you can see, I have a plug here that I've worked on is to buy replacement hooks and if you go to your local tackle shop you'll find treble hooks that have an open eye and they're made just for this purpose. Uh, what you would do is take a pair of pliers on the old plug hook and simply bend that open eye away. I'll do one, this is going to need some changing anyway, but just grab that one side, be careful, watch your hands, twist it with a pair of pliers and the hook comes off and you're ready, you can replace it with a fresh new hook. But I wait until after I've done my painting. So remove the hooks. Then I would take, if there's any kind of real deep grooving in the plug, a piece of sandpaper, you know, coarse grit, say 50 grit paper, and then smooth that out, take any kind of rough edges off if I can. You don't have, it's not a work of art. Uh, simply clean it up, smooth it up a little bit. Um, since I'm going to repaint this, I have placed eyes onto this plug, so I'll take a little piece of masking tape and cover that eye so it doesn't get painted. And I take everything out into my yard on a nice day, hang them on a fence or on a piece of wire, and then it's simply, you know, coat the bottom, two, three quick coats of white, swing over to the top, two, three quick coats of yellow. Uh, the red, I like to put a little bit of red up what, what would be the head, up near the mouth region of the plug and actually I like a little bit more than the plug would come with in a new package so I you know you do your own little innovations and improvements I like to put a little bit more red on it uh, this particular plug comes without an eye I've added an eye how did I do that I go to one of these craft shops and I buy sequins All right? you can buy them they're very inexpensive and uh, you can buy them in black you can buy them in all different colors if you want to play around with colors. And at the same craft shop, you can buy a little bit of glitter in what's like a salt shaker type of thing to add glitter to the plug. And you're ready to go. So you paint them up. Uh, the last thing I do once I have the paints on, bottom's white, top is yellow. Spray a little red around the mouth area. And then I take a clear coat. I give it a shot of clear and very quickly before the paint dries, I just take this little salt shaker, or a little shaker here, and sprinkle on the glitter. Creates a nice kind of scale effect and sparkles and reflection, and I think it definitely adds something to the plug. I can peel off the masking tape that covered the eye, put the new hooks on, and the plug's ready to go. All right. Just one other note. Uh, if you have to change the tail hook, which very often you will have to do, uh, the Gibbs plugs come through without 
a split ring at this point. So once the plug's removed from the body, there's no way to really attach a new tail hook because I haven't found tail hooks that come with open eyes. So what I do is get about an 80 or 100 pound split ring and I attach the split ring which will then hold a new tail hook to the body and it works very well. Another little modification, you can take some five minute epoxy and just put a little coat over the wrappings of the bucktail. It'll help it to last a little bit longer. When you're done, you've taken an old beat up plug that looks like junk and had rusty and dirty hooks and you've replaced it with all new equipment. That plug is nice and shiny, looks real good, good imitation, and it's going to catch fish.